Hello everyone, welcome to Indian Judicial Service. In this video, we are going to discussing here MP Civil Judge Solved Paper 2018. This paper belongs to set first and part first. We discuss uh, set first into a two parts. So, in this video, we discuss only a 60 questions. So, it is part first. And before starting this video, I request you please like and share our videos and please subscribe our channel. Let's get started. Now, question number one. These questions are belong to Constitution of India. So, Constitution of India, which of the following rates can be issued against private individual as well as public authority? So, only habeas corpus writ is used against private individual as well as public authority. So, clearly answer here option A. Now, question number 2. The state shall provide free and compulsory education to all children at the age of 6 to 14 years answering in article answering in article 21a so answer here option b now question number 3 in which of the following amendment of the constitution made in mandatory for the president to accept accept the advice given by this is very important here advice given by council of minister so, in which amendments? Amendment here, 42nd constitutional amendment. So, answer here, option B. In By the 42nd amendment, it makes the provision that the president is accept the advice. It is mandatory provision. The president to accept the advice given by council of minister. Now, question number 4. The constitution of India, an ordinance can be issued by the president at any time when, when the both houses of parliament are not in session. So, answer is here, option D. Now, question number 5. Article of Constitution of India relate to Uniform Civil Code. This is very important here for citizen. So, Uniform Civil Code for citizen provided in Article 144. Article 44. So, answer is here option B. And only one state in India execute Article 44 means Uniform Civil Code. And the name of that state is Goa. So, Goa execute Uniform Civil Code in their territory. Now, question number 6. The decision of Supreme Court relating to ban smoking at public place, this is very important, is. So, the decision given by the Supreme Court that smoking or at public place is banned. In which case, the case name is Murli S. Deora versus Union of India. Answer here, option A. Now, question number 7. The Constitution of India, where a law is made by a state legislature on the subject enumerated in concurrent list this is very important with the assent of president another important point repugnant to the earlier law made by parliament then the law so law so made by the states so such law shall prevail in the states so answer here option a now question number eight according to the constitution of india the term district judge Cell include, cell sorry, cell not include. So, district judge is provided in which article? Article 236. And there in, in the term of district judge, the chief presidency magistrate is there, session court is there, uh, and chief judge of small court is there. But chief judicial magistrate is not there. So, answer is there, option C. Now, question number 9. Article 24 of the constitution prohibits the employment of children in any factory or mine or any hazardous employment below the age of 14 year. So, answer is here option C. Now, question number 14 year. Now, question number 10. The power to grant pardon, reprieve, respite or remission of punishment etc under article 72 of the constitution is exercised by the president of india so by the president of india on the on the advice of council of ministers so answer here option c now question number 11 these questions are belonging to cpc civil procedure code so first one the remedies available against an ex party decree including so, appeal, review, application for setting aside the decree. So, all these remedies are available 
अगेंस्ट एन एक्स पार्टी डिक्री सो आंसर इज हेयर ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दीज नो क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व सिविल प्रोसीड कोड अ कैवियट सेल नॉट रिमेन इन फोर्स आफ्टर द एक्सपायरी ऑफ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज कैबियट इज प्रोवाइडेड इन आर्टिकल वन फोर्टी एट ए ऑफ सी पी सी एंड इट सेल नॉट रिमेन इन फोर्स आफ्टर द पीरियड ऑफ नाइन्टी डेज सो आंसर यर ऑप्शन सी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन सिविल प्रोसीजर कोड अ रिसीवर इज एन ऑफिसर ऑफ द कोर्ट सो रिसीवर इज एन ऑफिसर ऑफ द कोर्ट आंसर यर ऑप्शन ए नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन सिविल प्रोसीजर कोड राइट टू अपील इज सो राइट टू अपील इज ए वास्टेड राइट सो आंसर इज यर ऑप्शन सी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन अंडर सिविल प्रोसीजर कोड डिफेंडेंट कैन आस्क फॉर टेम्परेरी इंजेक्शन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डिफेंडेंट कैन आस्क टेम्परेरी इंजेक्शन अगेंस्ट दी प्लेंटिव इफ If option A, there appear to be a danger that plaintiff would waste or alienate the suit property. This is very important. Now, second one, the plaintiff threaten to dispose of the property with a view to defrauding his creditor. Option C here, the plaintiff threaten the defendant to dispossess him from a suit property. Suit property. So all these statements are correct in the. matter relating to where the plan defendant ask for temporary injunction against the plaintiff so all these conditions are there so answer is here option d and this question is related to order 39 rule first so rule 1 and because order 39 related to the temporary injunction and interlocutory order now question number 16 under civil procedure code when the application for review is dismissed so when application for review is dismissed no appeal lies so answer is here option b and this thing is clearly provided in order 47 this is very important here order 47 and rule 7 now question number 17 civil procedure code amendment in pleading relating relates to so amendment in pleading relates to order 6 rule 17 answer here option b now question number 18 civil procedure code in normal course how many adjournment can be granted by trial court on sufficient cause so only three three adjournment can be granted by trial court on sufficient cause so answer is here option c and this thing is provided in order 17 rule rule 1 proviso so answer here option c three adjournment now question number 9 civil procedure code a suit may be instituted by minor so suit may be instituted by minor in his named name by next friend this is very important word next friend so answer is here option b and this thing clearly provided in order 32 rule 1 and 2 both rules 1 and 2 related to next friend so answer option b now question number 20 before filing a suit against the government under section 80 of civil procedure court and it require a notice to be given to the government of so how many days notice uh, given against the government so notice here 60 days so answer here option d now question number 21 if applicant uh, withdraw the appeal preferred against a decree X party, the application under Order Nine, Rule Thirteen of Civil Procedure Code shall be so Civil Procedure Code shall be maintainable. So answer is here option B. Question number twenty-two. The court cannot order. This is very important here. Cannot order execution of a decree as per Section Fifty-One of Civil Procedure Code in which of the following way? Option. a here by attachment and sale of property so it is the proper way under section 51 option b here a decree for restituting of conjugal rights by sending the person husband or wife as the case may be to civil prison so in that time the court cannot order the execution of a decree under section 51 of the cpc so answer is here option b and remaining by appointing uh, a receiver so it is proper way and last one by delivery of any property especially decreed so all these ways are proper remaining option b and the execution of restituting of consumable right uh, decree is provided in 
order sorry here order 21 rule 32 is important here. So, rule 32 relating to the a decree for restituting of conjugal rights. Now, question number 23 civil procedure code the procedure for suits relating to matter concerning the family is given in so given in order 32 a so answer here option a now question number 24 under order 32 rule 1 of cpc the code a minor means a person who has not attending his age of majority within the meaning of within the meaning of indian majority act so answer is here option c now question number 25 civil procedure code the pleading means this is very important question here pleading means uh, plant or a w yes means written statement so answer is here option b now question number 26 the transfer of property act 1882 so these questions are related to transfer of property act so first question uh, transfer property act which of the following is a ground for determination of a lease by forfeiture so lease by forfeiture option a on expiry of lease period option b here on breach of express condition option c here on surrender by lessee and option d here on vesting of of lesser interest in the lease lessee so answer is here option b on breach of express conditions now question number 727 transfer of property act the doctrine of part performance is dealt in so doctrine of part performance is dealt in section 53a of transfer of property act so answer here option d now question number 28 the doctrine of less pendants embodied in section 52 of transfer of property act it is only in act that the purchaser pendate light suit is bound by the result of the litigation so answer here option b now question number 29 transfer property act if a transfers house worth rupees 2000 to b and b transfer a field worth rupees 1200 and in additional pay rupees 800 in cash to a the transfer is so clearly transfer is exchange so answer here option a now question number 30 transfer of property act in case of gift if the donee died so here if this is important here donee died before acceptance then so gift is void so answer here option a now question number 31 transfer of property act which of the following properties cannot be transferred so uh, option a here the interest in mortgage property option b here right to future maintenance so clearly the right to future maintenance cannot be transferred so answer is here option b and remaining immoral property share in copyrights are transferred by right? in transfer property act now question number 32 within the meaning of section 51 of the transfer property act 1882 the transferee so option a here is not entitled to value of improvements option b here is entitled to value of improvement option c here has conditional entitlement to value of the improvements and option d none of the above, none of these so answer here option b is entitled to value of improvements under section 51 so answer here option b now now question number 33 these questions are related to indian contract act 1872 a contract of insurance the performance of which depend upon a future event fall under the category of so fall under the category of contingent contract so answer is here option a, a remaining contract of indemnity contract of guarantee and quasi contract is not there so answer here option a and contingent contract is defined in section 31 of indian contract act 1872 now question number 34 Indian contract act an agreement to remain unmarried so an agreement to remain unmarried is void agreement so answer here option b now question number 35 Indian contract act a contract of insurance so contract of insurance is a 
सो ऑप्शन ए गारंटी बेलमेंट एजेंसी इनडेमिनिटी सो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस इज ए इनडेमिनिटी सो आंसर इज हेयर ऑप्शन डी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट अ ट्रेड मैन लीव अ गुड्स एट बीज हाउस बाय मिस्टेक एंड बी ट्रीट द गुड्स एज हीज ओन ही इज बाउंड टू पे ए फॉर दैम सो अंडर विच सेक्शन सो अंडर सेक्शन सेवेंटी ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट सो आंसर ईयर ऑप्शन बी नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन Indian Contract Act in contract in which a time is not essence of contract the failure to perform the contract before specified time option A here contract will become void option B here the promise is promise is entitled to compensation for the promisor for any loss occasioned to him by such failure option C here the contract will become voidable at the option of the promisor and last one the contract will become voidable at the option of the promise so answer is here option b the promise is entitled to compensation from the promisor for any loss occasioned uh, to him by such failure so answer here option b now question number 38 indian contract act in which one of the following consideration is not required so option a here the contract of bailment yes in contract of bailment there is no necessary condition of uh, following the consideration the consideration is not required in contract of bailment so bailment is provided in which section bailment provided in section 148 of the contract act contract of guarantee yes there is a consideration option c contract of agency yes in contract of agency there is a no requirement of the consideration and the creation of agency is provided in section 85 and last one the contract of insurance yes there is a requirement of consideration so both a and c is uh, in matter where no consideration is required so on answer from this point now question number 39 a agree with b to discover treasure by magic under indian contract act the agreement is so clearly agreement is void agreement so answer option a now question number 40 indian contract act a and b make a contract grounded on the erroneous belief that the particular debt is barred by the indian law of limitation so here a and b makes a contract on the ground of the erroneous belief that the particular debit is barred by the indian law of limitation so this agreement is a valid agreement so answer here option a contract is voidable option b contract is not voidable and option c contract is void and option d contract is void because both parties are under mistake so clearly there is a mistake of law so it is contract is not voidable so contract is valid so answer is here option b and this question is related to the uh, mistake of law under section 21 now question number 41 specific relief act 1963 in specific relief act all other words and expression used but not defined then their definition and meaning would be the same which has been defined under so which has been defined under so under indian contract act 1872 answer here option c now question number 42 specific relief act what is true in respect of mandatory injection so first of all important thing is mandatory injection provided in section 39 so option a compel the performance of certain positive acts option b here is awarded where uh, where the temporary injection is meaningless option c uh, is retrospective in nature as restores uh, things to their former condition so all these conditions are there in these all these conditions are true in respect of mandatory injection under section 39 so answer is here option d all of these 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री स्पेसिफिक रिलीफ एक्ट द स्पेसिफिक परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मे बी ऑर्डर्ड वेयर सो वेयर देयर इज देयर एग्जिस्ट नो स्टैंडर्ड फॉर असर्टेनिंग एक्चुअल डैमेज बाय नॉन परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द एक्ट टू बी डन सो आंसर इज हेयर क्लियरली ऑप्शन ए नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर स्पेसिफिक रिलीफ एक्ट द स्पेसिफिक परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मे बी ऑप्टेन्ड बाय एनी पार्टी दियर टू यस इट इज करेक्ट यर करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑप्शन बी द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन इंटरेस्ट ऑफ एनी देयर पार्टी देयर टू यस इट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट नाउ थर्ड ऑप्शन सी द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एनी पार्टी देयर टू यस ऑल दीज conditions where the specific performance of contract may be obtained by these parties so answer is here option d all of these now question number 45 under section 6 of specific relief act a suit for recovery of possession of immovable property this is very important here property may be bought within so may be bought within 6 month from the date of dispossession so answer is here option a now question number 46 an order or decree passed in a suit presented under section 6 of specific relief act is option a appealable option b reviewable option c neither appealable nor reviewable and and option and uh, option d here available and reviewable both so clearly an order or decree passed in a suit presenting under section 6 of specific relief act neither appealable nor reviewable so answer is here option c it is uh, under revisional power so under section under section 115 of cpc so any any decree passed in in a suit presenting under section 6 of specific relief act neither appealable nor reviewable it only under revision Divisional power under section 115 of CPC. Now question number 47, Limitation Act 1963. So in which of the following cases section 10 of Limitation Act apply? Option A, the trust arising by operation of law. Option B, trust for a specific purpose. Option C, implied trust. Option D, all of these. So answer is here option B. trust for specific purpose now question number 48 limitation act limitation to obtain a declaration of title of immovable property so limitation to obtain a declaration title of immovable property 3 year limitation there and when the right to sue first accrues answer is there option b now question number 49 the limitation act period of limitation for the enforcement of a decree granting a mandatory injunction is so their limitation is option b 1 year question number 50 where once a time has begun to run no subsequent disability or inability to institute a suit or making an application stop it is provided in section so in section 9 of limitation act so answer is here option b now question number 51 these questions are related to mp accommodation control act 1961 so question number 51 mp accommodation control act where an order for this is very important eviction of a tenant is made under section 12 on the ground specified in clause e of subsection 1 the tenant is entitled to amount by way of compensation for from landlord option a here double amount of the annual standard rent of the accommodation option b here amount of the annual standard rent option c here not entitled for any amount and option d here as per the order of court so clearly answer here option c not entitled for any amount now question number 52 mp accommodation control act essential supply enjoy by a tenant in respect of the accommodation let to him is cut off by the landlord this is very important here essential supply which is provided to tenant 
is cut by the landlord and who will make an order to restore this is very important point another uh, who will make an order to restore such supply so who will give the order so orders giving by the rent control authority rent controlling authority so answer is here option c now question number 53 mpa accommodation control act for a construction which has materially altered this is important word here the accommodation to the detriment of the landlord's interest or is likely to diminish its value substantially by the tenant so option a here by oral permission from a land from landlord is sufficient option b written permission of landlord is necessary option c here the permission has to be taken from the rent controlling authority and option d no such permission is required so in this question here the construction at the time of construction which has materially altered the accommodation uh, to the detriment of the landlord interest or is likely to diminish its value substantially by the tenant so there is a need of written permission of land lord is necessary answer here option b now question number 54 the provision of mp accommodation control act apply to option a here only municipal corporation area option b only municipal corporation and nagar palika area option c only those areas as specified in the first schedule this is very important here and last one whole of the madhya pradesh so clearly answer here option c only those areas as specified in first schedule now question number 55 mp accommodation control act the tenant may be evicted on the ground of bona fide need of landlord this is very important point here bona fide need of landlord for residential purpose but the need does not extend to so option a here his son's need yes it is uh, under comes comes under the bona fide need of the landlord option b need of the other family members it is also option c need of any person for whose benef benefit accommodation is hold and last one need of any other tenant paying more rent so it is not a proper ground on the basis of a bona fide need of a landlord for residential purpose so answer is here option d now question number 56 these questions are related to mp land revenue code 1959 mp land revenue code does the khasra this is very important word here khasra in trees confer a title so it's absolutely wrong here no and in trees is in revenue record is only for only for so answer is here option b as if the word is here khatoni so khatoni yes khatoni in trees confirm the title of the bhuswami but in this question there is a khasra now question number 57 mp land revenue code and whether a non tribal acquires bhuswami right of land or revenue land by bill executed in his favor by ab original tribe so option a here no permission of collector is required before execution of will option b here yes permission of collector is not required option c here yes being a bhuswami of revenue land right of ab original tribal are absolute and last one yes the acquiring of bhuswami right by will is not transfer so answer clearly here no the permission of collector is required before execution of will so answer is option a now question number 58 under mp land revenue code the agriculture year means the year commencing on the first day of july first day of july so answer here option c now question number 59 mp land revenue code on whom order the government lessee may be ejected from his land so on whose order government lessee may be ejected option a here state government option b civil code option c revenue inspector 
and option D here collector. So clearly answer here option D collector on collector order government lessee may be ejected from land. Now question number 60 section dash 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 of MP land revenue code 1959 relates to right of way and other private easement. So under which section? So under section 131. So under section 131 of MP Land Revenue Code 1959 relates to right of way and other pavement easement. So here 131. Answer option A. Now we are going to finish this video. And if you like this video, please click on like button. And if you still not subscribe our channel, please subscribe it. Thank you for watching Indian Judicial Service.